Welcome to the Florida Person Podcast. Hi, everybody. I'm Jackie Schwartz. I'm Meg Gallagher. And these are the weirdest uh, news stories that we could find on the internet this week. Florida. Florida Person. Florida Person. Florida Person. Yeah, because I went to get my... COVID-19 booster. Oh, I see. I saw your, I don't know why I thought I saw your Band-Aid there. And I was like, ah, flu shot. I need to get my flu shot. I got my flu shot on one arm and I got my COVID booster in the other arm. I actually need to go do both of those because I had, I had COVID in February, but that's like, that's now a good six months in between there. And I think that's what they said. Like if you, like you're eligible for it if you um like if you haven't gotten anything in like six months, right? Um, I think I don't they I don't I don't think they say that anymore. Oh, it's just like it's more that like if you just had COVID or something, I don't think you're supposed to get it right away, right? Yeah, it's like that those are the questions that they ask, like if you've been treated with antibodies or yeah. stuff like that. Because I re- I remember they used to say that, but then um everybody was getting it. Like Dr. Fauci they had COVID. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm getting it. I, had COVID I mean, I don't week. see what it would do. Like, it, isn't it better to it's just, just like have updated. all of it? Yeah, yeah. Like, just give me, give it all to me. Like, if well, it- yeah. Like with the flu shot. With I, I was thinking that I had to wait like a year to get my flu shot, but that's not the case. You um, can get it six to eight months after you get your flu shot because the flu changes every year. So you want to have the protection for the new flu. Oh yeah. I get my flu shot every year. I I, always, it's always like when I'm just like kind of wandering around and I see like a Walgreens or CVS or something, I'm mm -hmm. killing time for some reason or another. I'm like, I'll just walk in here and go get my flu shit shot. real quick. It's so quick. Today it was a real adventure because I made um, an appointment for me and my father to get our COVID shot and our flu shot because my mom's going to get it next week um and so i made an appointment at some walgreens that i never go to mm. and it was at 11 30 in the morning and so i got there at 11 30 and it was like there was like nine angry senior citizens like at the pharmacy and it was like not going well behind the pharmacy counter because apparently what I gathered from all the conversations, like all these people knew each other and they were all talking with each other is that I guess they were short staffed that day. The pharmacist who I never saw was like in the back, like counting pills and only the pharmacist could give out the COVID shots and the flu shots. And so everybody was just pissed off then there was like this old man that uh that appeared um like he wasn't crazy looking he wasn't didn't seem like a odd person he looked like a normal florida senior citizen but he had like a paper towel to his mouth Mm -hmm. and across Uh from us in the pharmacy i guess he was recognized by somebody and he's like hey Vern, ah what's what's up with you and then Vern was talking about how his bridge fell out and so oh, no. he's bleeding from Ugh. his mouth. And I'm like, why am I? Why is yeah, this also, happening at the pharmacy? Why is he at the pharmacy? And my dad's like, uh, I think we need to go. And so we went to another Walgreens down the street. Completely different experience. Everybody was really nice. There was like six people behind the pharmacy counter instead of two. And there was a dog there that was oh, nice. like a ridiculous, huge monster. Like it looked like like an English bulldog, but like 180 pounds. Okay. And she was very friendly, but like she looked like a monster. Oh. Like had like the eyes when they go like when, in different directions. And then they're directions. like struggling to breathe. They're just sitting there like, <laughs> like making all this noise. And you're like, yeah. you shouldn't have been created. <laughs> you shouldn't then, be here. And then there was like a, a um the owner, this guy was like, had the dog on a leash. And I learned that it was a girl, oh. which I thought was very cute because she's like so like tough looking. And then um, a mother with a baby carriage and like a four-year-old boy like was behind them. And the boy was like, 
uh, this is like a monster. Mm-hmm. Like you could tell he was really nervous. And then the guy's like, oh, my grand, my granddaughter like plays with the dog all the time. This dog, she just loves playing with kids. She chases her around all the but time. But then she's sitting there like, <laughs> I'm like, she looks like a gargoyle. Oh my gosh. I'm like, of course this child is like freaked out. And then to hear the dog likes chasing children also doesn't really help. And then I, um, when I got my shot, I was talking to the pharmacist and I, I mentioned that I was at the other place and how that old man showed up with his like bleeding mouth. And I'm like, does that happen a lot? And she's like, oh yeah, that happens all the time. A couple days ago, some man showed up with his bleeding hand and it got blood all over the counter. Ew. Like what? And they, they, they what show up with doing with, with, they need to be at urgent care. Yeah. Not at, at the, Urgent the care, or even like the ER. I mean, like you know, if you're old in Florida, I'm assuming you're like on Medicaid at this point. Like, I think you can just you can go to the ER. I think. Yeah, you're not like the rest of us. Where you're little, on traditional. Like, now. <laughs> yeah, you're on traditional Medicare. Like you're gonna. You can go. Yeah, you can definitely go. And if you're so, not on it, they'll probably like sign you up while you're there. So I thought that I was gonna be in and out like by and done with everything by twelve, but. The whole thing, instead of me getting my shot at 1130 in the morning, I didn't get it till like 115 in the afternoon. That is what's crazy is there's like sometimes you're at some of these places and it's just like, what? What's happening at this farm? I, I I hate the CVS that's right near me because it's just a mess. And like almost mm. every aisle is like on lockdown. Like they have like the aisles locked where like, you know, they put up oh. those barriers and you have to ask like an employee to let you into like, oh, the, like the aisle. Whole, like the, the whole, whole aisle? aisle. It's not just like the cabinets on it. Now they're locking like whole aisles. But I'm like, if you're going to do that, oh. then you have to hire more people because it's just like the girl at like the front. Oh, and that's yeah. it. She's the only one in the store. Yeah. And every aisle is locked. So I have to like individually. And then it's like, you know, she wants to lock the aisle back up. And she like wants you to get your shit so she can go back to do your job, which I totally get. But it's like, oh, but like <laughs> I was going to browse, you know, like I was looking for like a new a new foundation or whatever. Like, uh, no, you got to make that decision. No, like, like you have like to super, know, like you supermarket have to match sweep. it so quick. You got to be like, you got to get your shopping cart and run through And there. I'm like trying to like match it. Like I'm looking at like, you know, my little like forearm and I'm like, is that right? Because I'm like a little bit tanner now. So like, that's why I had to like switch like a little foundation because I just do a little foundation under my eyes just for like the bags <laughs> under my eyes and I'm just looking for like you know just like a one of those like little cover girl ones and just to just do the under <laughs> she's eyes gonna murder you and I'm like Mm-mm. and she's just like kind of like sitting like tapping her foot and I'm just like oh do you need to okay <sighs> oh wow that's really and it's so anno- and it's like I understand why you're annoyed because this has got to be super annoying that they keep dragging you away from like you know being in the middle of like packing up stuff or doing whatever they need to do with yeah like whatever inventory who knows yeah yeah and they go online and you have to do it for like every single person for each for each aisle it's like you know and then That's like ridiculous. And then like I grabbed the one and then I was like, oh yeah, I wanted to also get like makeup wipes. And oh. it was the same aisle, and I had to go get her and can be like, can you unlock the aisle again? Oh my gosh, that's really that's the whole aisle. I've seen and what now is I can and never go back there. I've seen certain items when we were at that first Walgreens today, they had the tide pods locked up. Yep. I mean, at, people, at end cap, it was like locked they, they've up. They've always like, had uh... some stuff locked up. I mean, I remember when I was like a kid, like the condoms were like locked up and stuff like that. Because I remember I'd like wander down and be like, "Ooh, those are like the condoms," and like they, had, <laughs> you know, they were in like the cabinet or whatever. So some stuff has always been, but now it's getting insane. And it's, I think it's a lot here in California because there's like a huge amount of like theft, like people because they have that stupid rule where it's like it's only a misdemeanor or whatever, uh-huh. and like it like the the rent a cops or like the security or whatever that they have like their policy is that they're not allowed to like chase you down or grab you or anything so you can go in there and as long as i think you steal like under under a thousand dollars it's like 900 something is like the limit until like you know they can get you 
And it's like, oh, that's still a lot of shit. That's a lot of, a lot of makeup wipes. It's, uh, that person is being worked. They're being overworked. They're, they, I'm sure they're not getting paid the right way. And then they go, the why right don't too. anybody want to work? No one wants no to one work. No one wants to work. It's like, why, why aren't you asking why are these workers being yes. overworked and No, abused it's more like nobody and... wants to work a crappy job no, and they exactly. just keep making it crappier. It's not yeah. that no one wants to work. It's nobody wants nobody to work a crappy job. No one wants job. to get exploited. Nobody's... It's ridiculous. My mom's always like, well, they're paying $22 an hour at our Taco Bell. And it's true that Taco Bell in Bozeman pays $22 an hour. And she's like, but they still can't get anybody to work there. And I'm like, well, part of that's because nobody really wants to work at Taco Bell, especially and when even, it's understaffed. And, and even like $22 an hour. I mean, everything is so freaking expensive. Yeah. Everything is going up higher and higher and higher. Exactly. And I'm like, if you live in Bozeman, Bozeman's quite expensive to live in. $22 yeah. an hour is still not great you know like and then have to try and live off of it you know it's uh, it's still not great i mean somewhat like you do have to kind of with some of these jobs they do need to make it more friendly for like people who are teenagers and stuff who want like an after school job but then they don't make it like able for people to do that they're like you know, you have to work like this shift like during the day on a Tuesday. And it's like, well, if you're trying to if you're trying to like get some of that, you have to make it friendly with that kind of stuff, you know? And maybe Ridiculous. things don't have to be open 24 hours and things like that, you know? Like maybe the drive-thru doesn't have to be a 24-hour drive-thru. I don't know, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. This is how Jackie would run things. <laughs> It's also like, you know, we've 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 made some of these jobs like frowned upon so much. And then people are like, why doesn't anybody want to work? And it's like, well, because you're the same and the same breath. You're saying like, ugh, you work at McDonald's, you know, That's so rude. So it's like because it, they have like a bad like, you know, people have been like now taught for years and years and years. It's like, you know, it sucks to work there. That's a that's a bad job. That's a dead end job. And it's like, and then why does no one well, it's like, work and they there? See, well, they say it's like, oh, like unskilled. And it's like, yeah. you have to have so many skills. You have to do so many things when you're working at a job like that. You have so many things that you have to think about that you have to like. You know, they have skilled workers and unskilled workers. It's just a, it's just No, I mean, I was at Del Taco and, and there was one woman there ringing people up, putting the orders together, and she had a headset on at the same time doing the drive through I'm like, that's one woman. And she's like multitasking three mm -hmm. things. And I'm like, I can't even like drive and like change like the song on my like phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? And it's like, she's like, I don't even know how you do it with like listening to somebody in your ear and at the, and so much like she was, she was talking to the person at the drive through and talking to me at the counter at the same time. I'd be like, I'm like, I would like a, 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 a bean and cheese burrito. And she's like, okay, that comes with, and I'm like, what? <laughs> she's doing the, <laughs> the drive through at the same time. I'm like, damn girl. And she got up my order. Right. So I'm like, she didn't even fuck it up. So it's pretty good. Yeah, pay that That's, person, pay those people. So, you know, no one wants to work anymore. No one wants to be exploited. Yeah, no one, no one. Also, like, you know, I hate that they're making everybody go back to the office. Let us mm. stay at home. Everybody yeah. wants, everybody's healthier and stuff, you know, like people yeah. are like, you know, I don't want to commute like an hour each way. No, the it's commute. expensive to do so. It's expensive to do so. Yeah, that's And there's sucks. still a lot of, and there's still a lot of um COVID out there. <laughs> that there just Oh is. yeah, COVID's making there like just a little is. We're going to be getting right our, now. Um, our free kits. We're going to get more Oh uh, yeah, I heard kids. that. Yeah, the the you got to sign up and get your tests. I still have like two tests. Cuz uh, I was yeah, and they, having to use I those think all they did the time. The, so. They the, they updated the expiration date for those that that they don't really they haven't expired they said they expired but they, the expiration date is not accurate i saw allegedly, one that like allegedly can... or they're just doing that because they just want to say like covid's over return to your life forget about it forget, forget about, about it. it forget about it well we're gonna see how that happens with like the uh the election if people are gonna be like i don't know well, maybe don't we just know. don't do an election in a year you know maybe we just don't do one 
I don't know, maybe we'll just do a mass suicide. Uh, Yeah, geez. Let's just leave the planet. We're done here. Let's leave the planet. Let's leave the planet. Yeah, so have you heard about this? The spicy food challenges that have a long history, but have they become too extreme? I don't know if you saw that. So there's this like spicy chip challenge that's like been going around on TikTok and like Instagram and stuff. Like it's like the new, it's not even like a Tide Pod challenge because it's like, because it's edible. You, you're yeah, you're you, supposed it's to eat meant this. to be eaten. It's, it's, it's more like hot like wings, the, but chips. Yeah, it's more like the ice bucket challenge where it's just like a social media challenge that everybody's doing. Um, but so there's this uh, tortilla chip like maker. It's the Pequai one chip challenge. Uh, and they make a chip that's made with like ghost pepper. And so all these like influencers and just people on TikTok and stuff like get the chip and do the challenge. And then but somebody just died from doing it what from a spicy chip oh my gosh so this is a tortilla chip maker's decision to pull its extremely spicy product sold as the one chip chow and you just get one chip that's it it's just one chip oh from store oh, shelves scary. following the death of a Massachusetts teen has renewed attention on the popularity and risks of similar dares marked by brands and spread widely online. Spicy food challenges have been around for years from local chili pepper eating contests to restaurant walls of fame for those who finished extra hot dishes. People around the world have been daring each other to eat, especially fiery foods with some experts pointing to the internal rush of competition and risk taking. I, I like cannot watch people do spicy challenges, you know, like man versus food. I used to love like the the ones where it's like eat this burrito that's the size of like a baby, but like oh. I could not watch. Oh, geez, I can't, I can't watch, watch that. somebody eat something really spicy because they start like sweating, and I just I feel like it just looks so gross. I'm like, ew, ew. <laughs> <laughs> it grosses me out. So it says, uh, but extremely spicy products created and marketed solely for the challenges and possible internet fame is a more recent phenomenon and teens are particularly exposed to them because of social media. Associate oh. Professor of Psychology at Florida International University, Eliza Truco says... There's a glamorization of these challenges on social media. You see a lot of likes or comments, social status or popularity from these challenges, but you don't see a lot of the negative consequences like trips to the ER or other injuries. Jeez. So uh, let me find. Uh, so the autopsies results for 10th grader Harris Wollobath are still pending. The team's family alleged that the one chip challenge is responsible for his death on September 1st. The product manufactured by Pequai instructs participants to eat an, a, a named a, I don't know what that word is, a, a chip and then see how long they can go without consuming other food or water. So it's a super spicy chip made with the ghost peppers. Sales of the chip mm -hmm. seem largely driven by people posting videos on social media of them and their friends taking the challenge. They show people, including teens and children, eating the chips and then reacting to the heat. Some videos show people gagging, coughing, and begging for water. So since Woolaboth's death, Jeez. Pakwai has asked re retailers to stop selling the product, and some health experts have pointed to potential dangers of eating such spicy products under certain circumstances, particularly depending on the amount of cap. So I guess capsaicin. Is capsaicin, yes, capsaicin, a component that gives chili peppers their heat. Oh wow! Wow, I'd be interested to know what the. What See, it's it's one of those things. Are. I wonder if there's any underlying circumstances, uh, any underlying health issues that. Well, I wonder. I wonder. I want to see what the chip itself looks like. I'm gonna like Google the uh, spicy chip challenge because I want to see what like the. I, I, it has a picture of like the packaging. Yeah. Okay. So the chip like doesn't look like it. I, I was imagining it to have like Cheeto powder kind of on it, you know, because I could mm -hmm. I could think that if it was like had the the spicy Cheeto powder on it, maybe he inhaled like some of that. And if he was like, you know, particularly like maybe asthmatic or something like that, that getting into like your, you know, your nasal cavity or like yeah. even like all the way into your lungs or something could have done it. But it, it looks like it's just like baked into it. It looks like a regular potato chip. I guess anything is possible. Or, 
when it comes to, I mean, there's certain people have certain reactions to. That's the thing. He also could have just been allergic to it. Like that's true. No one tests you for ghost pepper because it's made with ghost pepper. Nobody tests that on like an allergy test. Yeah, because I guess they say that certain people are more sensitive to capsaicin. Mm -hmm. And if you are, then you can have a bad reaction to it. And you might not know how sensitive you are if you don't if you don't eat that, then all of a sudden you eat something like that, then your body's going to have a a reaction to that. Yeah. So, I mean, social media challenges are so dumb anyway. Mm. You know, like I I remember like the first Mm. big one was like the ice bucket challenge, but at least that one was like for like supposedly for raising awareness for like ALS or whatever. Yeah. Which I'm like, okay. And like, but I could see also somebody getting hurt from that because you're like, people were like just dropping buckets of like ice water on people and can't you kind of you could go into shock if you're like old or like you know like uh, i don't yeah. know <laughs> i don't think it's like the best way Jeez, I, I did the sad. cinnamon that's challenge really sad. back that's very in the sad. day oh really yeah oh, i did the boy. cinnamon challenge and like after that i was like oh like a lot of like people have died from the cinnamon challenge because it's like to- like you can't just eat that much cinnamon it's toxic in amounts like i i tried to eat like a a spoonful of cinnamon but i blew it all out because it's like really hard to do oh wow but yeah just stop no i'm stop (laughs) i have such a sensitive food situation it's terrifying for me to think about eating anything like this yeah, the funny part now is like I've become such a wuss now too, where I'm like trying to take like my my pills in the morning, you know, like my my vitamins, mm-hmm. and sometimes I'll like take like take like two capsules at the same time, and then it's like, oh, uh, uh, that's too much. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> like sometimes I, I'm a big baby like that. I take so many pills. I take so many pills, and when I take them, I could take so many pills at once. I just think like I'm eating food. I'm like, well, if I'm eating food, if I'm like chewing something and I'm eating it, like a lot of it's the size of pills, I guess, after you chew it. So I just think that and then it's easy for me to swallow pills. Yeah, it's it's weird. There's a tip for you there. I don't know. I love I love spicy food. I love I love sriracha on everything. But there's been this like sriracha shortage. I don't know. Like it's impossible to find the bottles with like the the rooster on it. You oh. can't find it anywhere. And it's because there was like a like a crop shortage with those chili peppers. And so they like they just didn't have enough to make a lot. Of, so now it's just the knockoff sriracha that you can find, which isn't the same because it definitely uses a different like chili. And it's just not, it's not right. It's not quite right. Like I have like the Kroger brand of Sriracha right now. And it's, it's not amazing. It's not no. amazing. I've been using like Cholula now because I'm like, ugh, you know, I want my Sriracha back, but you can't, you can't even find it at the grocery store. It's just not available right now. Oh, it's horrible. Just horrible. This is kind of related, I guess. I mean, <laughs> kind of in that it has to do with a creature eating something but okay there's a um a small alligator i don't know if you saw this this is from people magazine rescue alligator with top half of jaw missing i Find did see new this home at florida park i did see this yeah oh, and he's she's so missing. cute it's she, it's a it's a oh, lady, it's a lady. alligator it's a yes it's a woman and um she uh they said her survivability in the wild was considered slim but now oh, yeah. she's being cared for at an orlando alligator park and i wonder how she's half. able to feed yeah they think that her um they think that she may have lost it either in a fight or with a a, a boat propeller accident mm. um and they think that she might have been surviving off of um like frogs like just like Something small just, where she can yeah. still get it, like, at the end. Because if you look mm-hmm. at the picture of it, it's, like, it's the entire, like, all the way up, almost to, like, her eyes. Like, yeah, top it is. of the, the, the snout. It, yeah. And so it kind of looks like, it was like, she's like, ha. Like, she's like, yay, I got rescued by these people that care for me. I wonder and if it, she's they said got to breathe over. out of her mouth then, because, mm-hmm. like, this, the nose is at the end of the snout. 
Oh, I guess so. I guess so. But it's um, very inspiring to see this little alligator. And that wound completely healed up. So it's not like they found her and yeah. the wound was something that they had to address and they had to do like wound care for it or anything. They said that it was completely healed. And I mean, she looks pretty oh. silly, but it's cute. Yeah. It's very cute. cute. Also, like, does that make her like the safest alligator out there? You know, because she couldn't like grab you and do a death roll or whatever. <laughs> I Yeah. I mean, I guess she could if when she gets bigger, she could smack you with her tail. Yeah, but that's but, not. I mean, that's like, what you got to worry what about with gators do. is them because they have that like death grip when they're able to like chomp on, and then they chomp and they don't let go, and then they death roll. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know she just wouldn't be able to get a hold on you there unless she really got you at the end. Yeah, yeah. They say that. Um, they say the alligator is settling into her new home um, at Ga at Gatorland. Good. Um, they say she's settling in um, at her new home. I mean, she's really getting a lot of attention right now. I hope it doesn't go to her head because she's becoming a little diva. But right now, she's very good, very down to earth, very humble at this point. Right, let her, let her be a diva. A little bit, a little bit. Stay Maybe humble. She's gonna be. You got to stay humble, Gator. Does she have a name? <laughs> Does she have a name? Let me see. Alligator Paradise. I don't see a name. Yeah, it doesn't look like it on the article. I, I pulled up, the, like, it's a similar article, but it's from, like, the AP, and it didn't look like they listed it. She's got to have a name. But I hope Maybe it's not, they, like, I hope they don't take the tripod, like, treatment to it, where, like, every cat or dog with three legs is tripod. yeah. That, yeah, I, I don't know what the tripod treatment would be to a gator that's missing the top half For of a, their like you know yeah I don't know nose. <laughs> I, don't I don't know what, what the obvious be. one is. Maybe they're gonna have a um, usually zoos will have like some sort of a fundraiser or a vote to I hope it's something name like the Sophia animals. or something like that. Yes, yeah, something, something lovely for a lovely girl gator. Yes. Have you been to Gatorland? No. I, I still want to go to Gatorland. Like, I remember, because it's up near where, like, Disney is. So mm -hmm. it's it's something that you can do if you're doing, like, a Disney trip or a Universal trip. And you've got, like, an extra day. And you want to just, like, you know, see some critters, not get too crazy. Because it's just, like, alligators. But they also have capybaras there. And I've seen these oh. videos. They have a capybara experience where a lot where you just, like, get a cup of food and, like, an hour or whatever. And you get to go in and feed them and just pet them what and i'm like that is something i really want to do what i really like the entrance to gatorland that's really yeah it's just you walk through with the, the gator the gator mouth oh my gosh oh they got a bunch of animals there oh yeah yeah they've got tons of gator they have like you can also feed the gators like they they have a bunch of gators that in the i guess they just give you like raw chicken or or just steaks or something and you just toss it to the gators and they have oh, yeah. this guy who like stands i've watched all these videos obviously yeah and they have like a guy who stands there and like you know he's got a pole for if like the gators like start getting up too close and he's like back 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 yeah back back <laughs> get back <laughs> you know so he can wrangle the gator if need be Oh and they have a God. zip line that oh, yeah, goes meat. over the big gator area. I see, geez, I see meat a capybara. Yeah, I do want to do that. That is oh, I want to meet one. That is something I would like to do. So bucket list is go to Gatorland, meet the capybaras. I oh, mean, like, like the gators a, are interesting too. It's like sure. they have like a Halloween Horror Nights goblin experience. Oh, I I doubt it's like Halloween Horror Nights. I'm though. sure it's I'm sure it's I'm sure it's indistinguishable from the. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure they have like mazes and the gators dress up and you know like you pop went out to, of things. And you went to Halloween Horror Nights last week. Yeah, yeah, I went to Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood, and I keep seeing all of these like TikToks and stuff that are like Halloween Horror Nights this year is a mess. They've let too many people in, and people are waiting up to four hours to get into a maze. 
I'm like, the longest I waited was like, I waited one hour at one maze. And that was the longest one. Everything else was like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, like nothing too crazy. I also went on a Thursday night. So maybe like on a Saturday or something, it is insane. Yeah. But also like, what did you expect? It's a Saturday at like an event at a theme park. That's... That is going to be crazy. That's how it goes. <laughs> That's going to be a little bit crazy. They want to sell those, like, skip the line passes to you for like a hundred bucks or whatever. Yeah. What was the best haunted house? Uh, it's uh, it's hard to say. I really liked, uh, they have a Chucky one this year. Oh, that must be really fun. It's, it's really interesting because there's only like two live actors in there. It's a lot of animatronics. Like they have a really? lot of animatronic like Chucky's. Oh my and it's gosh. actually like pretty impressive. I was like, I did really like that one. Mm-hmm. And then uh, weirdly enough, I didn't think I was going to care about it as much. But The Last of Us, they have a Last of Us one. And it's mm-hmm. really well done. I was like, like, every part of it's like themed. Because usually with some of them, like you'll have like a, you know, a little hallway where there's nothing in the hallway or like, you know, a transition area into like one scene to the next. This one was like, it was decorated all throughout. And it was the last one I did because all night long it was like, I kept saying it was like 180 minutes. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to not wait in that. But then at the end mm-hmm. of the night, it dropped down to like 30 minutes. And I got in that line and did it last. And oh. it was actually, yeah, it was really good. The Last of Us was good. I went through this. I, I think the Stranger Things one was good, but I didn't, I haven't watched the new season of Stranger Things. So I didn't really understand it <laughs> like i'm like i don't yeah. really know what's going on here <laughs> what's happening the same thing like they have the exorcist like believer which is the new exorcist movie that's coming oh, out yeah i saw a trailer for that but it's not coming <laughs> out until like the week before halloween no one has seen this movie but they have a haunted house for oh. that movie well, i mean i guess you could probably guess what it is it's like oh possessed girl actually no it's not one possessed girl two possessed it's girls. two so mm-hmm. Like, I want to see it and I'll go see it. But I'm also like any like, you know, little Easter egg or like ref, like, you know, wink, wink reference or something. I'm like, I don't I don't get it. Like, Mm. I don't even know these characters yet. I don't know. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I'm assuming this is a good maze. But I'm also just like, ah, who who's that? (laughs) I I think it's like uh, I think last year I might have liked some of the mazes a little bit more like the La La Llorona maze last year was really good. But they Mm -hmm. have like now like monsters of like Latin America, which is also like pretty good. They've got some good stuff in that one. Uh Disappointing was the Evil Dead maze. And it was like for like Evil Dead Rise which is a really good, like, they went really hard in that movie, the new okay. one. Yeah, yeah. It's great. It's on HBO. If you love, like, like gory, scary movies, like, it's I don't great. like gory. It's I like very gory. I like when they're like, oh, I moved to my dream house. Oh, no, there's haunted. a ghost. There's a ghost. And then there's, like, a like a, like a a ghost that keeps popping up. I like that. Yeah. But when it's, no, like, This gross, one's got I'm some like, really Ooh. brutal kills. And it's it, if you like that, and I do, it's great. It goes really hard. The maze is all right. It's okay. So that's... Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood, the the maze for Evil Dead. It was the one I was the most excited about. And I think it's kind of like the least well done. Like the no. the the pop out things are kind of like a little goofy looking. Mm. I don't know. It's just a little goofy. It's not as scary looking because like, you know, the woman has like red hair in the movie and like it's really easy to go into like, you know, goofy looking clown territory and i don't think they pulled off not having it look like that in the maze because oh. <laughs> they just put like the red wig on all like the scare actors and shit and you're just like eh. a little, <laughs> it looks a little clownish i don't know sorry um who ever worked on that uh it's it's fine you know mm. it's not fine though what <laughs> 
I got some more snake news this week. Oh no. Oh it, no. Where is and it? And it's from Where's Arizona. Snake? So remember last week oh, it was yeah. also in Arizona with the snake yeah. in the toilet. So this one, like this one's actually more of a nightmare. The last time it was like a non-venomous snake that was in this woman's toilet. This time, like, uh oh. <laughs> it uh-oh. says enough to make your skin crawl. Twenty rattlesnakes found inside a homeowner's garage in Arizona. Oh my, like on purpose? No. Was he I collecting think, them? No. Were they no. hiding? No, this was oh, this was no. an accident. So it says, Mesa, Arizona, an Arizona man called a snake removal company after seeing what he thought were three rattlesnakes lurking in the garage of his Mesa home. He was wrong. There were actually 20 snakes, five adult Western diamondback rattlers and 15 babies. One of the adult snakes was also pregnant. Uh oh. Snake oh wrangler Marissa Maggie found most of the rattlers coiled around the base of a hot water heater in the unidentified homeowner's clustered garage on Tuesday. Yeah, that's what oh, they say. Oh, that's what they're like. If you live in like an area like that, because in Florida, you can have the same problem too with like black racers and like coral snakes and stuff. You need to not keep a bunch of stuff on the ground, it needs to be like elevated, organized, and closed. Oh my god! You don't like cardboard boxes like on the ground or like you're just asking for snakes. Oh gosh. He says that is a lot of snakes. I'm not going to lie. This is crazy. Mackie said in a YouTube video recorded by the company Rattlesnake Solutions. The Western diamondbacks with their distinctive triangular shaped heads are found throughout the Southwest and their venom is far less toxic than other rattlesnake species. They can still require care when being handled. Mackie used tongs to pick up each snake before dropping them into large plastic buckets and relocating them to a natural habitat in the desert area. This is our record for the most rattlesnakes caught in one call, the company owner said. The number could have been higher. Hugh says several shedded skins were found in the garage, indicating that as many as 40 snakes may have lived there at one point. Oh, my. We'll never know how many rattlesnakes have come and gone over time. Rattlesnake Solutions have made headlines in July when the company successfully removed a non-venomous coach whip snake from a Tucson home. Their 22nd video showed that three to four foot roughly one meter snake being plucked from a toilet bowl and hissing straight at the camera. And that's the one we talked about last week. Oh yeah, that was that camera. That that snake was great on camera. That snake. Yeah, was that like snake was born to ready. be in front of a camera. But this, and I remember when I was a kid, we had a washer dryer like combination in our garage in Florida, and you know it was like mm-hmm. my parents would always say they're like you know be careful because like a snake could get behind there because it's warm, and you hear, yeah. hear about that all the time. Like I'm so glad when we moved when I was like. 12 we moved to a house that had like a laundry room and we didn't have to have the washer dryer in the the garage because i was always so scared i'm like what will i do if i'm getting my laundry out and a snake pops out yeah what move are you gonna make what are you gonna do we always had because we lived like on a like a lake it was one of those developments that had like a lake in the middle of it and we would get mud crabs all the time like trapped in the garage and they'd just be like, clank, 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 like banging into shit. And then all oh the cats would gosh. be like, oh boy. And they'd, all the cats would like gather around and like trap the mud crab and then just like kind of push it around, like push it and then like tear its claws off and just torture it. They'd just torture oh, these crabs to death. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just awful. So I, eh, yeah, you know, I think it's, I think a lot of people have gotten bitten by snakes because of, they've had, you know, garage incidents. And so keep your and garage the, tidy. Just, yeah. Geez. If you watch that show, Snake City on Discovery, it's no, it's on National Geographic, I think. It's either Discovery or National Geographic, but it's those, uh, there are these two snake catchers and relocators in uh, South Africa. So they're like okay. catching like black mambas and cobras and oh all kinds gosh, of crazy that's stuff. Scary. And it's always stuff like they say in like every episode, they're like, you know, keep your kitchen clean, like keep your, you know, your garage clean because they're in here catching like mice and like, you know, vermin and stuff. So if you keep your area clean, you won't get those and they're not going to come in looking for them. Well, you got to do that 
You got to do that if you don't want snakes, I guess. Jeez. So that's just like a Keep word of tidy. advice for Keep everybody. Keep it tidy. Keep it tight. Keep it tidy. And like, you know, you don't want your garage full of like 40 rattlesnakes. That's just no. too scary. Mm -mm. I'd be more scared for like the cat or if you have like pets or whatever than anything else. You I, know? Yeah. How's the cat going to, you know, they don't know kill all those like, snakes. Not even kill them. They just, I don't even want them going after it because they're no. like, oh, look at this big noodle. I'm just going <laughs> to tap on this noodle. I'm just going to slap this noodle. Slap oh, this no. noodle with my paw and see what happens. Oh. And then it gets them. And then oh, my it gets gosh. Them. Have you seen, you've probably seen like pictures of dogs. Like people have been on like hikes and stuff in Arizona and like the dog like goes over and like borks at a rattlesnake and then the rattlesnake gets them and like luckily like it's a common enough thing with rattlesnakes i think especially in arizona that you can mm -hmm. get them to a vet and get them the anti-venom and they're they're okay Aww. but like the pictures of these dogs with like swollen up faces because they, they're like Ooh. i've seen that with cats and like bumblebees like little bee stings and their noses are all like big. It's like, oh, poor babies. I feel so bad for them, but I'm also like, it is kind of cute. It's cute in its own way, you know. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit, a little bit cute. It's just... <laughs> there was that um, that hurricane Idalia recently. Yes, yes. And this is another animal rescue story. Okay. And this is Peaches the flamingo rescued comma released after being blown to tampa area by hurricane adalia oh no yes a tired flamingo swept to florida's waters by hurricane adalia has recovered and was released back into the wild over the weekend they typically live and breed in the caribbean though they are regularly spotted visiting florida in the everglades or the florida keys but hurricane adalia's category three winds blew them more than 300 miles north to Tampa Bay area and beyond, reportedly as far as Ohio. Oh my gosh. So that'd be crazy to see a flamingo wild flamingo in Ohio. Just what? It's going to be the prettiest lady in Ohio. She was found alone and she was rescued off of St. Pete Beach on September 1st and her her waterlogged wings prevented her from flying oh look they decided to to save her because she was likely going to drown mm. and so they scooped her up with a net transported her to the spca for a day before recovering at the seaside seabird sanctuary that's a very good tongue seaside twister seabird there. sanctuary that's a tongue twister though yeah they said that she was clearly exhausted. Oh. So upon being released Saturday morning, Peaches put on a show of bathing, shaking out its feathers, because also they weren't completely able to determine the flamingo's sex. So they don't know what what they were. Mm -hmm. And the typical flamingo um, dance is also something that Peaches did. Um, and then Peaches took flight, and they're hopeful that Peaches will join uh, another flamboyance. Which I has love been reported that that's called, the that's area. like the group of flamingos is called a flamboyance. Flamboyance. That's oh, I so love cute. it. It's a flamboyance of flamingos. Oh. I guess they said after Hurricane Michael in 2018, one beloved bird, Pinky, stuck around after a fallout near Tallahassee. Earning a local star status. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so. Get it. Peach is the flamingo. They are uh, back in the wild. So if you see them. Say hi. Don't get too starstruck. Don't get Just, too starstruck. Yeah, know. peaches, stay humble. Stay humble. You got to stay humble. Like, just like this gator. Stay humble. Stay humble. Stay humble, you. Don't yeah. you understand? Don't let it go to your head. You have a platform your, now, so you little better bird start brain. Yeah. talking about other animals and stuff being rescued. Well, I hope like Peaches has like an Instagram or something. Oh, Peaches. Peaches. Well, those were all really nice. I mean, maybe mm -hmm. not the um, 
my stories. Your stories were really nice. My stories were were not so much, but that's okay. Mine were thinkers were like scary, scary stories. Yeah, maybe you know, just clean up your garage if you live in a rattlesnake prone area and stop doing stupid challenges online, and you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, so. to all these uh, these animals out there getting like the rescue on. Don't let it go to your head. Stay humble. Stay humble. Stay humble. You got to stay humble. Yeah. And and you, listener, can also stay humble. Uh, I don't know. That sounds like a little, like, <laughs> what, what is she talking about? Okay. Uh, but if you do come back, uh, we'll be here next week where we find uh, all the weirdest news stories we can find on the internet. We'll be back here on the Florida Person Podcast. Goodbye. Bye. Florida. Florida Person. Florida. Florida Person. Florida. 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 Flor